Okay, now I have to go and find Missy. All right, good. I guessed correctly that she would be outside. Hey, Jerkat. Hey to you too, Missy. Did you catch the show Saturday? What show? You have to ask? The special two-part wedding extravaganza for those two famous people. Uh, no, I did not catch that. It was amazing. I want a wedding like that. Good luck with that. Hopefully you don't also want a divorce like these people will probably want in a few months. Psh, they're gonna make it. Alright, whatever. I don't even know who they are. Huh, I better not have to wait long until I get that. Do you plan on marrying that boy you're with all the time? You know, the one with the ridiculous name. Aspen? Aspen? Okay. That's the one. <laughs> His name cracks me up. His parents must be total assholes. Anyways, is he your future husband or what? That'd be super. I think so too. I mean, he has blue hair, you have blue hair. You're the perfect couple. Her hair is... Oh, her hair is kind of blue, isn't it? I thought it was white. Whoops. Actually, between you and me, I dye my hair. Really, blue is not your natural hair color. I never would have guessed. You do? Yeah, I'm a blonde. You dyed your hair so it could match your boyfriend's? <laughs> no, bitch. That's a coincidence. Blue is just cool. No pun intended, I'm sure. Duh. Sheesh, I can't believe you dye your hair. You even dye your eyebrows to match. I don't blame myself that I never noticed. No one has. Really? How long have you been going here? Since ninth grade. You've been dyeing your hair that long? That's crazy. You're crazy. It's not my fault I was born with a dull hair color. You should dye your hair too. Yeah, I kind of uh, tried to run that past my boyfriend and he was not happy with it. <laughs> No thanks. I bet you'd look cute with yellow hair. Yellow hair is pretty much blonde. The hair color is so dull, you've spent multiple years obsessively dyeing your hair to hide the fact that you had it. Well, it'd work on you. Fair enough, but that's true for any color. Bright red would look awful on you. Shush. Just saying. I don't need these kind of opinions. If you keep it up, I'll have to tell everyone you're a blue-haired fake. I'm not worried about that. Oh, then tell me something you actually don't want other people to know. No. Rude. <laughs> oh, Missy. So that was not her last conversation. I'm like, don't tell me I got the last conversation back to back. Not quite. Close, but not quite. Soon. Okay, I've done that one before. Lucky person with random pet picture. All right, Nate. All right, Nathan. So Nate is just Nate, not a Nathan. Interesting. Ah, Bay's birthday. Welp. The year of doing things that other people do on their birthdays. <laughs> His birthday was uh, very entertaining. Going with him shopping. <laughs> okay, so... What do I want to do? Okay, I should... Uh, let's do a tax and then go get our luck dealt with. I'm gonna have to do some more working too. Let's see. Luck. Um, Nate. Bay. Pram. Don't need cheat coat yet. And we will buy some more drinks. Okay. Good enough. Alright. You're right here. Excellent, excellent. Uh, bay. Nope. Uh, Nate, Everett, and Shiloh. Why not? 
been ignoring Shiloh a lot <laughs> lately. Uh, Miri, okay, we'll go with Miri. And another week has passed us by. All right, I don't need to do a drink yet. It's time for a new date, I think. Okay. Let's do this, and then we'll have another page done. Can we get him to play games with us, maybe? Will we challenge somebody? I'm so curious what this last date's gonna be. Hiya, Candy! Hey. Wanna go out tomorrow? I guess. Where were you thinking of going? The game center. Again? What is left to do there at this point? Oh, you know, babe. Stuff. Uh-huh. This will be the last time, I promise. God. Who will be playing the game? I'm gonna play for sure. And you really need me there for that? Of course! I need you now more than ever. I need you so much. Alright, alright. One more time. Sweet. Meet you at the usual spot. Got it. Bye. See you. Aww. All you gotta tell him is that you need him and he's there for you. So cute. You're the best boyfriend, ain't? Hi, cutie. Hey. You prepared for today? Yes. Why do you ask? No reason. Hmm. Okay, let's play. I'm not playing. You said you are. I am, and so are you. I knew I shouldn't have come here. Come on, Nate. We're gonna play a game together. No. Don't worry, I thought about it. We'll take baby steps. So for today, it's all about doing as bad as you can on purpose. So neither of us will really win or lose. Hardly. That's still something you can win and lose. Fine, then just think of it like this. If you lose the game, it's only because you have winning tastes in girls. And if you win, you're pretty much still losing, so it's the same thing. He blushed at that? Alright, I'll take it. What are you saying? Being understanding, trying to accommodate my shortcomings. It's like you're a real girlfriend or something. I do what I can. Now, let's play darts and completely miss the target every time. That sounds like a spectacularly bad idea for more than just the competing part. Pff, I'm sure it'll be alright. Give it a shot! <laughs> It was an almost passable effort, but losing on purpose is completely against everything I stand for. Then stop thinking about it as a real competition already. Okay, I'll go first. Woo, here goes the dart! Ah! Did you see that? I hit the wall. That's pretty bad. I could do worse than that. Prove it. You can take my word for it. All right, it's not even a game about being bad. We're just throwing darts at random. I'm sure even you can handle that. <sighs> Grab a dart and throw it. What if I break something? Then we'll say we're super sorry. It'd still be an accident, technically. God. Ugh. Yay! Keep throwing, but save some for me. If you want some, you can grab them off the wall. How rude. This was my idea, you know. You snooze, you lose. Now we should stand back to back so neither of us gets caught in the crossfire. Ooh, I'd love to. Don't make me regret this. <laughs> so how come you get so nasty when you compete? The thought of losing makes me upset. And... I think part of me wanted an excuse not to compete anymore. If I didn't compete, I can absolutely guarantee that I wouldn't lose. But I thought you loved beating things and showing off how great you are. I liked that a little. I didn't at all back then when everything started, though. When I was a kid, I only wanted to win because I hated losing. Are you sad that you have to stop yourself from competing against other people now? No. I can compete against myself and our rival schools. That's enough. I don't know. I still think something is missing. You don't know anything. Wow, you really are a jerk when you compete. 
that's nothing, and I thought we weren't competing. I was joking, bad idea, I know. But now that we're talking about it, I was thinking I should come to one of your team meets sometime. Sure, just don't get in the way. Really? Yeah. Huh. I thought you'd make a big deal about it and ask me not to come. Why? Because you didn't want me to see how you got when you competed. You're not going to. Half the school watches those. You think I get worked up in front of them? Um, no? Of course I don't. It happens in the locker room or when we're just around the other team. Ooh, can I come into your locker room? No! Why not? It'd just be to see you being an awful guy, not to see you undress or anything. That's still dreadful. Plus, I don't believe that's all you'd look for in a locker room. <laughs> okay, but you can't hide it from me forever. Ha. Huh. Is that a challenge? No way. Well, that was fun. Thanks for coming, Candy. Uh-huh. I think we can both agree that we're a couple of winners. That's fine with me. <laughs> Good. Come, Mr. Winner, let's head home victorious. I'm with you, Miss Champ. Alright. I'm really glad you're going along with us, but I have to ask, why not call me Miss Winner? We can't both have the same last name. That would make us relatives. Or married. We're not married. And even if you wanted to play pretend with that, I said Miss. Us being married still wouldn't have made sense. Wow, you sure do think of everything. And that's why I'm a winner. <laughs> well done. Well done. Bravo. Bravo. I, I love Nate coming out of his shell and being more relaxed around us. I, I live for this. It's great. I, I, I like the the vibes we got going on between uh, Jerkhead and Nate. I feel like they're syncing up really, really well. Couple of cuties. Wonder where we are affection wise with them these days. Getting close to Shiloh's birthday again. Yo, Alicia, what's the scoop? Ooh, getting there. Um, I think we'll do attacks. I need to equip a drink. Um, oh, something I've been thinking about for a while and I keep forgetting is I want to know if anybody says anything if you wear, like, the crown. <laughs> so I'm going to just wear it this week and see what happens. Did anything happen when you wear the crown on? Oh! <laughs> That's a cam thing? Gotcha. Whoa, you're a princess. <laughs> How silly. Technically, I'm a queen. But a princess is good, too. I can be both. You can? Yes, anything is possible. Follow your dreams. Wow, okay. Good. Now I've got many important things to attend to. The royal life is a busy one. Cool. Like what? What? Like, what things are you gonna do, you know? Are you gonna be in a parade? Maybe someday. Nice. It is. And that's all you need to know. Now, instead of asking boring questions like that, you should compliment me on how amazing I am. Yeah, you're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. I needed that boost of self-confidence. Alright. Tiara. Do a thing for Cam. Cam likes tiaras and necklaces. Well, now I know. What happens if you wear the crown to the prom? Do you get, like, another crown? <laughs> I have so many questions. Hmm. I guess we're just not gonna get random events anymore. How concerning. Again, I'm gonna, like, check, so I'm like, why? 
Did I break everything? No. Um, okay. I guess we should go on another date. Okay, so we did that. Did that. Oh, archery, eh? So how many do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five. We got five dates left. And what's the date today, October? Hmm. If we only have five dates le left, maybe we should only do one date a month going forward. So I should wait till November. Do one, yeah. Eh, kind of sucky, but I went through the date so quickly in the beginning because we got so much affection with Nate early on. It's kind of crazy. Oh well. That's what you do when the guy is already fallen for you. <laughs> Don't have to work as hard. Oh, I forgot to take my tiara off. Oh well. Hi ho! You really like sitting with me, huh? Someone has to swallow that pill. No one's forcing you to do it, you know. You don't know that. Maybe your boyfriend is forcing me to sit with you so you'll be distracted while he has some away time. He's not that type of guy. It would be a little better if he was more like that, but whatever. Uh-huh. Speaking of which, is, if Aspen is so great you think you might marry him, then why don't the two of you ever eat lunch together? We're not stone at the hip. Does that mean we are because we do have lunch together? I'm not saying we don't always have to be together. He, oh, sorry, I'm just saying we don't always have to be together. He's got his friends, I've got my friends. I still don't see why that means you never ever sit near each other during lunch. Honestly, I didn't even really care at first, but now that you won't answer, I can't let it go. Where you go during lunch is supposed to be about strategy. He doesn't worry about that, so he always sits in the same place, but I don't waste this time. Oh, right. Yeah, you and Aspen are laid back like that. Hey, who said I wasn't being strategic? I'm the only one close by who matters, and I already gave you access to my info. Sitting around here isn't going to get you anything extra. So the answer is you just want to sit with me, you dumb bitch. Well, not anymore. Why? We're friends. You don't sound like you're my friend. You keep insulting me. Unless that is how you treat your friends. Totally, skank. Wow, it's so flattering how you think we're that close. I'm still not sure I can sign off on this. You ignore my insults because I'm super special and important and everyone else is just that dumb, I guess. That's not me. I deserve compliments. And you're not part of the jerk group, so I see no reason to give you a pass. <laughs> like, I'm sure. I'm gonna keep calling you a hoe and you're not gonna care. Alright, fine. I'm a kind and understanding enough person to accept that you've got dumb way of speaking. You're welcome. Knew it. We're Toad's friends. Got the Oso achievement. You're seriously not even going to mention how hypocritical that all sounded? Why bother? Even if you do mean that stuff, clearly you're not saying it to end things between us. So, truthfully, it's super irrelevant. Well, you got me there. Now, are you going to say this Oso already or not, you Hoso? <laughs> yeah. Oso. Oso. And on that note, yo so we're done with all the friend stuff. Good, good. I can move on with my life. Enable cheech and che cheech. Can enable the cheech. So things are gonna go even faster around here these days. Last part of this game is gonna really speed up, which is kind of good. What's happening? Oh, writing a letter to mom and dad. About Nate, maybe? Hey, mom and dad. How are you? Oh, um, we're on the phone. That's right. Cool, cool. Things are good. Yeah, I'm getting along with people. And uh, speaking of which, I've started dating somebody. Officially, I mean. He's like my boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty great. Yes, he is normal. He's the best. 
Well, his name is Nate. He's very good looking and multi talented. And I'm the only girl he spends a lot of time with. He's disciplined, responsible, and people at the school really admire him. Yeah, he's one of those popular people, but he doesn't care about that kind of thing at all. He definitely takes life seriously. He cares about being the best he can be. Oh, and he's not at all afraid to show his feelings like some guys are. Uh-huh, sure, if we're still together at graduation, maybe you can meet him. Yes, I'm happy with him, but you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, okay, bye. Talk to you later. Man, is it gonna be trouble if they do ever meet? Oh well. You say that about every guy. Nate will be fine with your parents. Don't worry. I have no doubt. Where are we with luck? Ah. Alright, well. Let's go to work so we have money. And then we gotta do like a whole bunch of cheatsy doodles. Okay, first things first. Nate Everett Bay. And then enter cheat codes. Okay, so I need I need hurry up. What? Oh, I forgot the exclamation. Duh. Hurry up. Okay, 20 Swiffy Taffies. Do another one. 40 might be enough. Do I need anything else? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I'm gonna do the they should know one again. And then I should be good for sure, for sure, with all the clicks. And da, 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 got the date locations clicks. Don't need money. Got the taffy. Okay, I think we're good. And I'll just buy some more drinks while I'm here. I can't equip the Swiffy taffy this week. Unfortunately. And I forgot to take off my tiara again. Um... I'll sit with Nate, I guess, for my last week of normalcy, and then we will uh, we'll deal with everything going forward this coming weekend. Nate Everett Pran. And we'll check all our stats. Okay, it's the Shiloh's birthday. <laughs> all right, all our fortunes. <laughs> That's what Shiloh's birthday was about. I'm trying to remember, I'm like, what does Shiloh do for his birthday again? Okay, so uh, I need energy drink this week. I can't equip the uh, taffy. Oh no, wait. I can. I can just sleep this weekend instead. Okay, equip the Swiffy taffy. Yeah. Let's sleep and then tomorrow is November. Uh, actually, no. We'll text. Next weekend we'll go on a date with Nate. We'll do a text today. And then we'll sleep. Alright, so. There we go. Now we just sleep away our weeks. Or, well, not really sleeping away, but the weeks are just gonna go by unless something actually happens. So now I don't have to talk to click members or ignore them or anything anymore. All right, now we, and now I got full energy, so I don't actually have to worry about stuffing things anymore. Um, okay, so I need another, I guess I should equip um, Swiffy Taffy as like a regular weekly thing. There we go, weekly equip. 
And time to call our boy out for a date too. Is it time for a new outfit again? <gasps> it might be time for a new outfit again. I'm so excited. All right, to the archery range where you get to shoot arrows at targets. There aren't many reasons to know how to shoot an arrow, but you can pretend to be a forest warrior or something. It'll be fine. Keep forgetting to take off the tiara. I'll do it after this, after I call. Hi. Sup? What do you want? I'd like a date with Nate, please. Don't rhyme my name. It wasn't on purpose. Don't do it on accident either. Think before you speak. Okay, whatever. Come to the archery range with me tomorrow. I'm not going to shoot arrows if I come. Why? You don't know how? Of course I do, but I just don't. Hmm. Would you be willing to teach me how to do it? You don't know. Sure. Don't lie to me. Why would you invite me to an activity you wouldn't participate in? Because I really wanted you to teach me. I was just going to wait until we were already there and then spring it on you. But you just had to ruin the surprise by being difficult. That still sounds like an excuse. But as long as you understand I'm not going to be shooting arrows, I guess I'll go. Sweet. I'll see you tomorrow at the park plaza. Got it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and luckily, because we've already dated Nate, we know that she's lying about not knowing. What? When did I get these things? Okay, we're, we're not wearing this uh, now, but I need to wear these things later, for sure. Huh, I wonder when I got those. So is this the mole that Everett likes? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to try those out in the coming, uh, coming weeks, but not, not right now. For now, we're gonna go and, uh, and do some more work. Get this date going. Wow! Oh, that scarf is so cool! Yeah, your clothes are great. Awesome. Hey. Hiya, Nate. I'm your hands for today. Only metaphorically. And that's a damn shame. Okay, I've got a question. Yeah. Did you get that jacket from the kids section? Mm. Well? No, I didn't. It's supposed to be this length. Why? I, uh, don't know. But it's a thing, okay? Hmm. Do you only want part of your torso to be warm? Or are you trying to draw attention to your midriff area? Neither. Oh, I got it. You bought that because it was cheaper since they use less fabric than normal. You know what? Maybe it was cheaper than a full-length jacket. I don't remember. Alright, that can be your guess. Mine is the midriff one. Fine. And since neither of us know the answer for real, let's forget about it already. Okay, I'm done. You didn't even compliment his scarf. <laughs> Nate, why are you so shocked already? Alright, let's get started. Yeah! Am I holding the bow right? Not even close. Really? You better come show me. Just hold it the same way everyone else does. That's not gonna work. I won't be able to get it by looking alone. You're gonna have to properly position my hands and stuff. How do you know looking won't be enough for you to get it? It's not that hard. It won't work because I'll make sure of it. God. Well? Be serious or I'm going to leave. Now you're just being silly. I don't know why it's so silly when it isn't a joke. Come on, you wouldn't really try going back to the school all by your lonesome. You could get kidnapped. If you actually believe that ridiculous statement, don't push me. Does pushing you really have to mean having any fun with this at all? Learning isn't supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be work. Work can be fun. It shouldn't be. Why not? Because if it's fun, that means you're not working hard enough. You have to work until you hate what you're doing. That's when you know you're doing it right. You need to take a chill pill. Don't tell me what I need to do. 
What? Jeremy, what are you doing here? Wow, I love, uh, you're very color coordinated. I'll give you that. Uh, could you take your embarrassing fight somewhere else? You're getting in the way. Jeremy? Why in the world are you here? Sigh, who cares? It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can't really keep it a mystery. I'm pretty sure the only thing to do here is archery. Whatever. I'm not the one who asked a question with an obvious answer. Fair enough. Look, we stopped fighting. You can go now. Yep, bye. See you later, Jeremy. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Boy, it sure is weird to run into a group member outside of school. Uh-huh. Hmm, I wonder who's a better archery person. Archer. You seriously don't know that. I'm ignoring your rude interruption. You or Jeremy? What? Who's better at archery? You or him? That's not a question. Of course I am. Really? Jeremy, come back! <laughs> we just went through like a long process of him explaining why he doesn't compete with anyone and we're like, I wonder which one in a competition these two would be better. Huh, what now? Are you better at archery than Nate? Huh, no. See, he knows. What's your best score? Um, I don't remember. Come on! Why does it matter? Nate isn't the best archer in the world. I could be. That's just not true. There will always be someone better than you, whether you ever find out about it or not. You will never, ever be the best at anything. No, someone out there has to be the best. The best is an unreachable position. You're gonna have to accept that one day. With that said, would it really be that interesting if I was one of the archers better than Nate? Interesting is not the word. Unbelievable is. Sigh. You're right about that. I don't want to talk about it. Bye. You know, it'd be super funny if Jeremy was a better archer than you. Don't even say that. <laughs> you're right. Sorry, I forgot. You're the best archer in the whole world. If I get kidnapped, I hope you blame yourself for the rest of your life. Aw, don't leave me. Somehow he stuck around and still taught us something, I guess. Thanks for teaching me today, Nate. I think I learned a lot. I didn't teach you anything. You lied to me. I knew it. Well, either way, I think I would pretty good. Maybe even better than you. God. <laughs> Poor Nate. <laughs> ah. Poor Nate, Nate, Nate. <laughs> He saw through our ruse. Uh oh. You're still trying. Hey, Shiloh. Jerkette! Hi! You look great today. It's true. Yeah, though you look beautiful every day. Also true. I hope it's not annoying having me pointed out so much. I'll survive. I'm glad. I don't know what I'd do without you. I know, I have to take such good care of myself for the sake of others. You're so generous. As always, I know. Man, I never get tired of this. And I never get tired of saying it. <laughs> How wonderful. <laughs> well, thanks for interrupting my Swiffy Taffy uh, week to interrupt with that, Shiloh. <laughs> Oh, brother. 